mean, this show has been uh, has been really um, has been really great uh, because I feel like it speaks to a lot of people who are going through, you know, maybe they quit drinking or uh, or have marriages on the rocks. Ever look through your phone and realize you hate everyone you know? If you've ever been in a relationship and you've had to click, it's complicated. I think you're going to relate to my show. If you ever drink so much that you wonder what people who don't drink do for fun, uh, then you might uh, enjoy the show. And if you like stand-up comedy and if you uh, are into something a little different, my show is for you. Check, check one. It looks like the projector's on. My first show, Silence of Lucky, uh, the videos were uh, a very successful part of the show. Oh, here we go. Sweet. Boom. They were like jokes I'd written, you know, and we just recorded them. But this year it's more about confession. The, uh, the videos tell the story of my, uh, of my marriage, juxtaposed against this performer doing stand-up comedy. See, as Facebook puts in way too much connection with people, with the click of a button, I can resume relationships and have business being resumed. And I can see people who are way more successful than I am. Like, like my girlfriend in the sixth grade is now some big anchor one in Chicago. Like, I don't need that sort of information, okay? It's only going to make me feel bad about myself. And it's such a pleasure to come back and, and, and work at the college where I went to school and, uh, you know, further develop my relationship with the faculty and the uh, new students who are coming up. Uh, that's been the real joy of, of doing this festival for me is getting, uh, is getting to know the people who come after me through the college. So that's been really exciting for me. That's why I come back to Piccolo every year. Man, I look forward to, when I, my favorite thing to do when I come back to, to Charleston is uh, about 10.30 at night, you know, after a show or something, uh, with a big group of people sitting outside on the patio at Vickery's. Something I look forward to all year long. But I think weddings are the bar mitzvah of the South. Where there's a big party and you get lots of money and it happens around age 13. That and driving over the connector, out to driving over, driving back from Folly Beach over the downtown connector, and just looking at the city and realizing, man, I got a show down there. That's a pretty cool feeling. I got a really nice email after opening night uh, on Facebook from this uh, this woman who lives in like Hanahan or something, and she had seen the show and um, and you know she was like, I'm sorry you had to go through through those things that you went through, but. Um, but that she learned a lot, you know, she learned a lot about how to, you know, appreciate her marriage and appreciate, you know, the things that, um, that she has. And, um, yeah, if someone could come away from, from my show with that, with, um, you know, loving their spouse a little more while they, while they have them, it's, uh, that would be, that was a really life-affirming moment for me the other day.